guy Hiram here. The last couple of days, I've gotten several emails dissing a couple of videos that I did back in 2009. I'll put links to the videos at the end of this one. Uh, just be kind. Remember, that was when I was first starting out with doing these. But anyway, like I said, I got a couple of, a, a bunch of uh, emails dissing it. I don't know why they these people send me emails rather than putting it in comments where everybody can see it or hitting the dislike button, although I get my fair share of them. But on second thought, don't, please, forget forget I said about the, dis, the dislike button. Just send comments, please. Uh, then last night and this morning, several friends shared a video that they found on YouTube with me. And after watching it, which I normally don't watch videos from here because of a run-in I had with them some time back, but... After watching the video, I think I get the idea where some of these are coming from now. So I thought what I'd do is revisit the videos and try to clear up any confusion that might be happening. The one video was on using a one micron filter as a Milbank bag. This came from another video that I saw where a guy took Milbank bags that he got on eBay cut them up and then made circle filters out of them and he said that they would take out everything because they were one micron and that's what the porosity or whatever you want to call it is. I didn't quite go for that idea but seeing the shape of these made me think of Milbank bags that I saw in the service. Uh, back in the day I had the opportunity to be an FO assigned with a British Marine Rifle Squad cool time but when I was out with them in the field uh, I saw them using what they called Milbank bags to strain water but then they used uh, halazone and whatever their equivalent was to purify the water and that always stuck with me and then when I saw these bags in the old video I thought this might make a cool Milbank bag a bit cheaper but still just as usable. They had different sizes. They had longer ones. I think this was the smallest one they had. Has a reinforced ring on the top so it doesn't squash. Has a little handle there. So I can just scoop up water out of a creek and then hold it over a cup and it drains, it drain, the water drains into the cup. Now this will clean out bugs and worms, grit, some dirt. It'll clean up the water of physical impurities. Maybe what I should do is go back. If you don't know what a Milbank bag is, if you go to Wikipedia, they talk about it there. They say that a Milbank bag is a portable water filtration device made of tightly woven canvas made for use out, out of doors. They are light, compact, easy, but slow to use. The bag is filled with water which filters through the canvas by gravity. It is useful for re removing sediment, organic material, but the water still requires further sterilization before it can be drunk. So basically a Milbank bag is just a heavy duty British military bag. Uh, it kind of looks like a Christmas stocking when you hold, hang it up, but it doesn't kill anything. It doesn't purify water it just filters out sediment and like I said crud. So I like these because I could use them like when I got them home I could wash them back out reuse them. I thought they were pretty cool. Again after I used this though I purified my water with Clorox at that time. That was what I'd learned in Boy Scouts and it was cheaper than using Halazone or any of these others so I always use Clorox. It's changed somewhat now. In my survival stuff, I use this MicroPure, these tablets. Uh, I always carry a couple of these in my pack and stuff. It's not what I use all the time, but it's my standbys. The other 
video that came up was on a water filter that I made. And if they had watched the whole thing, the whole video, they would have seen that it wasn't a water filter for getting, uh, you know, the microorganisms and stuff out. It was for removing the Clorox taste. Now, Clorox, when you use it in water for purification, it hasn't done its job if it doesn't leave behind a little bit of taste of Clorox. If your water doesn't taste of Clorox, you can't trust it. So what I had done was we use Brita filters at home, <clears throat> and they supposedly remove Clorox or chlorine taste out of the water. So I thought I'd make something up, and I've been using this for a couple of years. Just a filter, a PVC ring coupler, an O-ring, I think it's about two inches, and a piece of PVC. You'll see, if you watch the other video, I go into a little bit more detail, but the O-ring just goes in here. The uh, filter goes in like that. Then I have a small sliver of PC, the pipe. That goes in here to hold the filter in place. And I can jam it in place with this. Then this piece just goes on the top to act as a funnel. That goes on top of my bottle. I put my Clorox treated water. I don't know, can you see that? Nope. I put my Clorox treated water in through the top. It goes through the Brita filter into the container that I have. And usually it knocks down just about all of the Clorox taste. It tastes better. Even boiled water. Boiled water comes out kind of flat tasting. I put that in here and it would come out better tasting in the bottle. Uh, I see now, I've got one the other day. Not the other day, but a couple of days ago. Brita even sells these things now. It's basically the same idea as that, only a little bit in reverse. You put your water in here out of a faucet, not out of the woods. This isn't for, again, this isn't for purifying water. It's just for making better taste. Put water in there. It's got a small filter on the inside of the cap. Put that on. Open this up. And then you can just squeeze better tasting water out. So this is pretty much the same as that. Interesting. Oh, uh, let's see. Nowadays, <clears throat> I do it a little different. I've kind of got, you know, high tech with stuff. Depending on who I'm going out with, if I go out with a large group of people, I have a catadine, catadine? I don't know how you pronounce that. A catadin base camp bag, one of those gravity bags, you know, where you put the water in the top, gravity feed forces it through a filter and out a hose. Even with that, though, I use a bag like this to pre-filter the water that I put in there to make my filters last a little bit longer. The other thing that I use now for my personal use, I got a couple of these. They're Frontier Pro portable water straws or water filters, whatever they call them. You've probably seen these around. I'm sure a lot of people use them. It's got a bite valve on the top. has a clip on the bottom that you put your source hose on, stick this down in the water, and you can suck your water out through the top. It filters out all of the uh, cryptosporum and Giardia and stuff like that, if I said it right. With this, I've already stuck it into the water like that with the bag so that it pre filters the water. The other thing I do is in here is a pre filter that they have. It's a little pre filter that goes in here. So it pre-filters the water before it gets into the actual filter that does the separating of the, the microorganisms and stuff. So what I've been doing is I took one of these new 
and I just happen to have a punch that's that size, and I punch out pieces of this material to use as a replacement for this to save me some money, because I've never found who sells these pre-filters. And this has been working pretty good for me. I haven't gotten sick yet with this. Knock on wood. So, sorry for the ranting. I'm just not sure why I seem to get, you know, sourced out for this stuff. But I thank you for watching my videos. I thank everybody for watching my videos. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my Buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.